I uh, live in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. It's the birthplace of the North American oil industry reinventing itself to have at some point, the, had at some point the largest solar installation in the world at 80 megawatts. Uh, it is reinventing itself with uh, starting to build a hydrogen hub and a bio-industrial community. So, what about IEEE? You know, we all use IEEE. Are you aware of that? Internet, but the Ethernet standard, the Wi-Fi standard, and so on. Um, our core mission really is um, to develop technology for the benefit of humanity. All right, so that means we want to address the challenges. And we already started talking about the challenges. So we need to achieve the SDGs, the UN SDGs. We need to rebalance the composition of the atmosphere. In other words, we need to uh, reduce the greenhouse gases that we have in the atmosphere first, not to spit so many into it, and then later on reduce to a, a closer to a, a pre-industrial level. We also need to regenerate the Earth's ecosystems, and because we are resource constrained, and we don't want to build up more garbage, we do need to come to a circular economy, including a techno-carbon uh, economy. All right, so how do we get there? Mark Carney used to be the uh, governor of the Bank of Canada, then the Bank of England or the UK, and uh, later on uh, envoy to, the, to COP, COP26 to start with. He essentially postulated in this book that we need three types of innovation, political, financial, and technical. IEEE is on the technical side. That's where the expertise is. So what do we want? What's our goal? Our goal is a planetary biosphere that's healthy, not just 50 years from now, but 500 years from now, 5,000 years from now. We all know what's hindering us today. So what do we need to do to change? We need to change our approach. We need long-term thinking, more integrated systems planning, circular resource management, and many other items. You have spoken to some of them. So what have we been doing so far? We have been convening focus group areas in energy, the ocean. We are going forward with buildings that includes co uh, concrete. So I'll issue an invitation, OK, for April. And the next one is going to be in May on the Arctic regions. A lot of what we are looking at is measuring, monitoring, building models and so on, because one of the things we talked about uh, decarbonization or sequestering carbon in the ocean, we have to monitor whether it's actually sequestered in order to issue those carbon credits and so on. We also have come up with a compendium, and please feel free to access it. It's a draft compendium that's based on the ecosystems to identify issues and recommendations and was led through a backcasting process. In other words, we looked at the future, what we wanted the future to look like, and then developed the draft. So how could it actually happen that we make our world different? I think one of the approaches should be sustainable procurement. And for sustainable procurement, we need data, because we want to make data-driven decisions. And IEEE can help with building the roadmaps and building the standards to do so. It takes all of us to cooperate, to get there, and to succeed. You're invited. Please work with us. Thank you very much.